Peter, come on. Time to get dressed for our Valentine's Day dinner. We don't want to be late for a reservation. Reservation? Yeah, I decided we're going someplace nice this week. We'll get to the specials, but first, I need to tell you, I'm gay. The hell you are! No waiter of mine is gonna be gay! We have to focus all our attention on our hostess now. He, he just needs a little time. Well, happy Valentine's Day, Lois. Let's have a dying marriage side face kiss. Arthur Valentine. I can't wait to see what he brings me. I'm afraid it's something we made up that we finally need to deal with. You see, years ago, when Chris was in pre- <coughs> Peter, poor Chris didn't get a single Valentine today from any of his classmates. It's weird because he takes his shirt off to pee. Yeah, I taught him that. That's also called peeing. Pee? Pee now? Hey, 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 stop crying, Chris. You, you, you're gonna... From who? Um, from Arthur Valentine. Who's Arthur Valentine? Only the most magical man ever to, um, to bring candy and sweet notes to children who've managed to not use any swears in the last year. But, but not for medical reasons. He just likes the look. Plus, he, he wears a cat in a hat hat because it gives him a youthful vibe and adds some color to his face. Grow it in a few years, but, Peter, it's time we have a talk with Chris. We've got to put an end to this Arthur Valentine nonsense. Donna and I are spending our Valentine's Day in Johnny Cochran pajamas. Dad, hopefully Bonnie and I will do a sexy bath night like last year. It was amazing. I go down to the video store and put my hand on Love Actually at the same time as a woman, and I go, oh, ho, ho, ho. Brian, what are your plans for Valentine's Day? What? Oh, uh, no real plans, I guess. I thought you had that whole thing with Bonnie. I do, but she needs help lifting me into the shower chair. Boy, look! Arthur Valentine brought me plates and a salt shaker! It's actually time your father and I had a talk with you about Arthur Valentine. Son, I'm afraid Arthur Valentine isn't real. What? Not real? <laughs> I'm sorry, but you're old enough now to know the truth. He... He doesn't exist. What are we gonna do? It seems like there's no getting through to him. He may just have to kill Arthur Valentine. What? What do you mean? The Valentine is dead. Huh. Well, we just might have to. Golden Eagle to Red Shrew. Ready for the plan? Come in, Red Shrew. Peter, we did not decide on those names. Outside. I think he's come to say hi. Really? Yeah, look. So much and I haven't cussed once today. Dad, get the bowl of tuna from under my bed. Arthur! He's dead! <laughs> Red Shrew over and out. Huh. That looks tasty. Peter, I'm really worried about Chris. I've really gotten to him. I I've never seen him so depressed and catatonic. Robert De Niro, and he snapped out of it and caught it. M maybe we do that? It's Mom and Dad. We thought we'd... Awakenings! It's gonna hurt him if Awakenings! It... Peter, knock it off. I think we went too far by killing Arthur Valentine. We have to bring him back to life. Well, maybe, but what if I try it with a basketball? Awakenings! Oh, God, that broke his nose. Twirl some toilet paper up into his nose, and, and then when we'll, we'll do your thing. Chris, you gotta snap out of this. I mean, I've been where you're at. I've never told anyone this, but I killed a jaywalker in 2002. It's why I always talk and ask questions so much. When there's any moment of quiet, my mother has killed someone. Now drink your ginger ale. Accelerate awkwardly into a bush. <laughs> Damn it. Arthur Valentine? Chris, you're okay. He must be a zombie. What? No, 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 what? Yeah, stop! What the hell are you doing? Dead? I have to destroy your brain and then talk about it for the next hour. <laughs> Dad? I'm not Arthur Valentine, son. We're so sorry, Chris. There is no Arthur Valentine? We never meant to hurt you, buddy. This is Joe Swanson, signing off. Joe, your mom died. Seriously? Good evening, Quahog. Just parking. Be there in a sec. Our top story. Authorities have uncovered a mob-run prescription drug ring targeting Goldman's pharmacy. Pharmacist Mort Goldman failed to report to authorities for questioning. A $10,000 bounty has been offered for his return. We could find Mort. Easily. Besides, we haven't done anything together since our confusing two-host talk show. Chris, what was it like working with Amy Poehler? Hey, Chris, anything you can tell us about Guardians 3? Take, Take it, it away, away retro-racial swing guys. Griffin, Griffin Show, show stay, stay at the W, Times Square. If we're going to collect our ten grand, we need to figure out where he went. 
His computer is password protected. Um, try such heat this day. Cold, I want a refund. Nope. But I lost the receipt. Aha! A confirmed plane ticket to Boca Raton. Looks like we're going to Florida. They must have figured out where the pharmacist is. We gotta get to him first. I know the answer is no, but is there any chance of Harry Potter? Tony, what if the answer is a resounding yes? <laughs> Ring. <laughs> it's my house. Esta mi casa. Wow. Hang on. I'm in the middle of writing a song. Ding da dong ga de dong dong ding. <laughs> That's a hit. Coral Palm Motel. Told you. And here's Pitbull with his newest hit. I gotta go get paid to scream, make some noise, in Vegas. I think I hear Mort in the bathroom. Come on, Yorin, you can do this. It's been five days now. Why won't you just cooperate? Oh, come on in. I'm just urinating. Tinkle, tinkle, splash, splash. What are you guys doing here? We're taking you back to Cohog to collect our reward. Ha! <laughs> what? A shark bit Quagmire's penis off. This is not good. As soon as I'm back in Quahog, the mob is gonna kill me. Which interesting trivia was the name of the mom in good time? Looks like the mob knew we were coming. Oh no, we're done for. No, we're not. I'm the fastest Jew in the world. There goes our reward. Well, maybe we were in over our heads. Like an announcer who knows nothing about his sport. And those greens are playing very fast. All right, Brian, I negotiated to get Mort back from the mob. Ash drive with enough evidence to put them all in jail. We're going to trade it for Mort and collect our money. Because you know how many times we live, Brian? Once. You got the flash drive? Yep. All the information that could put you away forever. You were planning to keep it? It's 64 gigs. I bought the coverage. You're not getting the coverage. What the hell is this? You were working with the feds? Absolutely. When I heard there was a reward, so you guys get bupkis. I'm a pharmacist. This is the end. Ah, that was a good day's work. A little shot of the old Sorkin genius juice. Telegram for Mr. Griffin. Thank you, someone's nephew. Would you mind reading it out loud for maximum old-timey effect? 2P Griffin from the Emmy Board of Governors. Don't stop, stop, thinking about tomorrow, stop. And here's one from the Supreme. Stop, stop, in the name of love, stop. Are you finished? Are you asking me to stop, stop? Peter, close the door. But that's just what we're gonna do. Everything. Ah! Peter, I don't think that's a category. Oh, okay. Best documentary. Ah! Chris is playing my dummy nephew. Our family actually lines up really well for this. Best competitive reality show. Peter, you're out. I'm off the show? No, your penis is out. Urine. I'm in? No, urine is running down your leg. And there you have it. Family Guy reaches a new low as it grovels and begs for a meaningless award. Accomplishing something. <laughs> Peter, over here. Bill Ma, what are you doing not smirking outside a church? Uh, yeah, I was just doing that. Uh, look, Peter, I'm here for two reasons. And second, to tell you that Family Guy will never ever win an Emmy. Okay, first of all, that was Asa Akira. I think you knew that. Second, are you saying there's a conspiracy against us? It's back this way. And who was that Asian girl on the couch? I think you knew who that was. To convey this moment of shock at the depth of the conspiracy around me, here's Ryan O'Neill in the movie Tough Guys Don't Dance. Peter, there you are. I've been calling you all night. Where the hell have you been? No time to explain. You're part of this? No. I'm two-time Emmy winner Alec Baldwin. Peter, stop snooping around the Emmys. Yeah, butt out. It's none of your business. Great reason Family Guy can't win an Emmy. All right, we'll tell you. Your show sucks. Racial stuff on your show is just embarrassing. You have people of color voiced by white actors. No. Yes. Hell, I'm Shonda Rhimes, and I'm being voiced by a white actor. Everyone sit around saying, at least everything's back to normal, as if something happened. When nothing happened, it was a complete waste of everyone's time. I'm glad all this Emmy nonsense is over and things are back to normal. Yeah, me too. You know, I may not get Emmys, but I do get the best award of all. Your show helped me when I was going through chemotherapy. Aww. 
My favorite episode was when Homer stays home from church. Ah, oh, damn it, he thinks what a Simpsons. This spectacular live action chicken fight starring Ty Burrell. Good night. Some bad news. Ethan survived, but Alan didn't make it. What about Peter? Oh, him. He's in what we call a comma. As long as he's gonna be like this, please tell me he's gonna be okay. Okay.